Hello, this is Davey. I'm gonna show you a quick tip here that I use when I'm actually building uh, uh, applications. Lately, I've been using Tailwind CSS to build apps and I kind of like the flow of working with Tailwind CSS here. So I'm gonna show you quickly something that I found useful, right? So let's go here. I'm going to uh, go inside uh, uh, my app index. Let's make it a little bit bigger here. So here you see that I have, I'm using a, a Tailwind here and I have a set of uh, uh, basically classes that I'm applying right there. And um, if you say, for example, here, I'm just gonna say background is white. You, you see that right away on the left that there that the background goes right, right? So, so but that's not really what we want here. I just want to show you that this is the uh, the code here is applying on on, on the on the left right there. Now, one of the things that I, f I find difficult sometimes is when this thing becomes really uh, long, it becomes really difficult to know uh, what what the uh, the uh, yeah it becomes really difficult to know in which order these uh, CSS things are being applied. And Tailwind actually has a solution for that. It's it's basically a plugin that allows you to handle that part. And that plugin basically says, hey, um, I, they'll make sure that they will align these CSS classes as they apply it at the end after it compiles, right? So how do they do that? So the way you would do it is just to go in your packages and we're going to install uh, the, this, this tool there. So it's called Pretier. So let me add that here, npm install Pretier plugin Tailwind CSS. We're going to add it right here. And once we've done that, we can go back inside our Pretier uh, configure and then we add it right there. Right, and once you have it there, what you could just simply do is now, uh, let me just stop it and then stop this one and run it again, npm start, or let me just go with yarn dev. And then once I run the, uh, the project again, go back to my index, you're going to see now that right away, if I decide like, okay, I want to add rounded here, you're going to see that it's going to switch the position of around it there. If I say border, I actually use a lot of borders to understand what is the struct, what's the box I'm dealing with. So I'm a huge fan of border. Um, and then I go here, border, and then you see right away that you realign the borders uh, at the right place. So that's basically the tip that I have for you here. If you like it, subscribe, and don't forget to go on the Hackages Learn platform if you want to build the app right there on the left. It's all with TDD and it allows you to basically use testing as a way to grow your, your knowledge. That app there has TRPC, uh, Tailwind, um, um, React, and so on. And you have a version for Angular that's going to come in a few days, right? Take care. Bye.